hello guys and welcome back to another episode on chemistry so this is chemistry and of course today we'll continue our study on chemical equilibrium in the previous class we we'll looked at the effect of change in concentration on equilibrium position then in this class we're going to be looking at the effect of change in temperature on equilibrium position All right, so today I'm going to be looking at the effect of change in temperature on equilibrium what position. How do we answer questions like this? Now, let's see a question from the O3 schools uh, jam app. Please note that this uh, uh, tutorial, of course, is sponsored by the O3 schools jam app. So you must get that app for effective study and for a good score in jam. Okay, so please. Uh, go to play store download that app i've uh, seen a question like this i uh, giving the question is being displayed on the screen right now okay we are giving a reaction 2cl2 plus 2h2o plus uh, uh to give you uh, uh 4hcl plus o2 all right i'm uh, giving that h is what plus 115 kilojoule mole per okay so we are giving a positive data h and i say in the above equilibrium reaction a decrease in temperature will we are giving we are giving a question mark so how do you answer this kind of question there are thousands of uh, questions on what on the app so please download the app it has many features at the time of shooting this video the app goes for just three thousand dollars for activation so feel free download the app click on activate go to buy activation key at the top and then use any of the option to pay it is not scam okay for example if you want to reach out to me uh, reach out after making your payment or you want to even know about the app before you pay just send a message on whatsapp on this number zero nine one two one five one five two four six message on whatsapp solely only on whatsapp please all right you don't need to call okay just send a message on whatsapp if you're not on whatsapp you can call okay so let's 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 uh, uh let's deal with this class so that we can see how to answer questions like that okay then at the end of the class we'll answer what many questions from the app and you see how lovely it is to use what the app okay now let's go to effect of change in temperature on equilibrium position i'm going to use a reaction to explain this Let's consider uh, the formation of ammonia from nitrogen and, and hydrogen. We have nitrogen N2 plus what? H2. To give you, this is sorry, it's a reversible reaction. So it will go in both directions to give you NH3. Okay, this gas, this gas, this gas. But of course, you, as you can see clearly, yeah, this reaction is not balanced. Okay, so there are two atoms of nitrogen here, two atoms of hydrogen here. But there are three atoms of hydrogen here and one atom of what nitrogen here. So if you put two here now, okay, the nitrogen will be balanced. We have two atoms of nitrogen, but we will have six atoms of what of hydrogen. Okay, so that means we need to balance the hydrogen on the reactant side. So if you have, if you put three here, that will make it was six atoms of what of hydrogen, making it a balanced equation. Now this is not the most important part of what of this what of this class. The most important part is that this reaction has what a negative delta h delta h is what is negative minus x kilojoule mole per this is what the what the delta h the heat of formation here delta hf is what is negative uh, what is negative is minus x kilojoule mole per okay so now you have to watch this since the delta h here is negative it means that the forward reaction is exothermic all right, I'm introducing a new word. I know you have heard about it before, but we are going to what, uh, break it down what, into smaller fragments for us to fully understand. Okay, so now, delta H here is negative. And since delta H is negative, it means that the forward reaction is exothermic. Okay, since delta H is negative, it means that the forward reaction is what? Is exothermic. Okay, and this will mean that since the forward reaction is exothermic, it will mean that the backward reaction will be reversed. Okay, that means that the backward reaction is endothermic. Okay, so please don't this note this and what and no peace. Once the reaction, I want delta H for the reaction is negative. Note that the forward reaction is exothermic, while the backward reaction is endothermic. But what is an endo what is an exothermic reaction and what is an endothermic reaction? Okay, we must have known what it is. An exothermic reaction 
is a reaction in which loses heat to the surrounding exothermic let me put it here exothermic reaction right it's a reaction that what loses heat to the what to the surrounding it loses what heat to the surrounding and when it loses heat to the surrounding it means that the reactant will have more energy than the product or it means that the product will have less energy than the reactant okay so what happens here is that what that the, what the reactant reactants have more energy than the products okay so that is an exothermic water reaction a reaction that loses heat to the surrounding thereby making the reactants have more energy this is the reactant side and this is the product side all right the reaction is already what exothermic because it's having a negative delta h okay so it is it is what um uh, it loses heat to the surrounding exothermic reaction it loses heat to the surrounding and because of that the reactants have more energy than the what than the product okay now for the other case the reverse is endothermic reaction what is an endothermic reaction an endothermic reaction is a reaction that gains that gains or what absorbs heat from the surrounding all right it's absorbs heat from the surrounding it absorbs heat from the surrounding thereby making the product have more energy than the reactants thereby having making what the product the product have more energy than the reactants okay so this is as simple as abc so understand both of them exothermic reaction lose heat to the surrounding making the reactant have more energy than the product endothermic reaction gains or absorbs heat from the surrounding thereby making the product have more energy than the what than the reactant once you understand this you have what understand what more than what half of what of this class okay so now Note that what both exothermic and endothermic what reactions require some heat for their initiation. Both exothermic and endothermic reaction require some heat for their what for their initiation. And it is important to note that since exothermic reactions right lose heat or give out heat to the surrounding, they will not be favored by what by addition of more heat. You get. You get now so something that's already giving heat why you why do you want to give you heat again you get it does not make sense so so exothermic reactions uh, exothermic what reaction they are not favored by what by addition of heat addition of heat here let me put let me clean this place okay so addition of heat here will mean when i'm talking about addition addition of heat i mean what increase in temperature okay so when i say what addition of heat i'm talking about what increase in what in temperature okay when i say what reduction or what re removal of all heat we mean what decrease in temperature okay so when i say remover of heat i mean what decrease please note i mean decrease in temperature okay so now exothermic reaction loses heat so, because it is losing heat, it will not be favored by what addition of heat. It will not be favored by increase in temperature. We get it now. All right. So, why for the other side, endothermic reaction, they absorb heat? Because they absorb heat, they will be favored by what? By addition of heat. That is by what? By, by increase in what? In temperature. All right. So, note this. So, that when, whenever you are giving a question, as we will see very soon, from the hotel school jam have some of questions as we'll see very soon whenever i'm giving a question that borders on the effect of change in temperature on equilibrium position what you should remember is that endothermic reactions would absorb heat they gain heat so they will be favored by what addition of heat or they'll be favored by what by increase in temperature that's endothermic reaction they absorb heat okay because they gain or absorb heat right they will be favored by increase in temperature all right why the exothermic reaction because they give out heat 
right? They will be favored by decreasing temperature. Okay, so please know this and know peace. So whenever you are increasing temperature, it will favor endothermic reactions. Okay, but whenever you are uh, removing what uh, heat or you are decreasing temperature, it will favor exothermic reactions. Very simple as ABC. Now let's go to the O3 schools jump up now and answer some questions quickly uh, before we uh, end this class. In the next episode, we are going to be looking at the effect of the, the last effect, the, uh, the effect of what pressure on equilibrium position. Okay, so I have my app on my phone. Okay, this is a uh, uh, this is a 1998 question. 1998, 1998 question number uh, number 31, number 31. Okay, so it is being displayed on the screen right now. Okay, please download the app, activate it. Once you have downloaded from Play Store, go to the school jump app, click on activate, go to buy activation key. You will see three options for payment. Please pay. Pay. Do not be scared of anything. It is not scam. It is not scam. I cannot put we cannot put so much energy into an application just to scam you of few change. Okay. So please, it is very safe and it is very, very, very useful to you. If it's not useful, I will not would recommend it for you. All right, so please feel free to, work, to activate. You can pay online with your card. You can pay with Google Pay. You can make a direct transfer. Okay, I've dropped my WhatsApp number in the beginning of this video, so please send a message, activate your app today, and share this video to your friends and family. Make sure you like this video. Make sure you subscribe to this channel. Click on that red subscribe button so that whenever we publish a new video, you'll be among the first to know. All right, now we are giving a the question. They said two Cl two plus two H two. We're giving you four HCl plus O two. Okay, we are told that what delta H, delta H is what plus one one five kilojoule mole per. Okay, now from here we are already seeing that what delta H is what is positive, and because delta H is positive, it means that the forward reaction will be what now will be endothermic. It will not be exothermic, but what? Sorry, endothermic. Remember, I've told you from the beginning of this video that when delta H is negative, if delta H, delta H is what? It's negative, right? The forward reaction will be what? Will be exothermic. But when delta H is what? It's positive, the forward reaction will be endothermic. And since the forward reaction is endothermic, it means that the reverse reaction, that is the backward reaction, will be what now? Will be exothermic. So forward reaction, reaction is endothermic. Backward reaction is what? Is exothermic. Please know what the difference. Okay. Now, they're asking us a question. They said, in the above equilibrium reaction, okay, a decrease in temperature if you are decreasing temperature if you are decreasing temperature now that means what it will favor the what the exothermic reaction isn't it because decrease in temperature favors exothermic reaction um which is not left for us to know which of the reaction is what is endothermic is it the forward reaction that's endothermic or the backward reaction that's endothermic from the question because you have a positive delta uh, we have a positive delta H. It means the forward reaction is endothermic, and that means the backward reaction is exothermic. Okay, that means in this case, it will favor what the backward what reaction. Okay, so uh, option A they say it will favor the reverse reaction. What is the reverse reaction? That is what the backward reaction. Okay, so A is very correct. Let us just see the other option. They say favor the forward reaction. It will not favor the forward reaction because the forward reaction is endothermic. All right, and of course, have no effect on the equilibrium state. It will have effect because you are changing what uh, the, the temperature. What there's a decrease in temperature. It will have effect. So that option cannot be the answer. Then D, they say double the rate of the reverse reaction, which is very wrong. So the most favorable answer there is what is option A, as you can see. Okay, now let's see another question, but that's still bordering on what on this effect of change in temperature they said this question so so i do, we do not just make these videos for you to 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 wow all right it's for you to learn all right and be able to want to study and practice with the app okay now we have another question from 1997 this is a 1997 question number 28 1997 question 28 so we are told they said one method of driving the position of equilibrium one method of driving the position of equilibrium of an endothermic reaction forward 
is to of an endothermic reaction one method of driving the position of an endothermic endothermic reaction is by giving the options they say a increase temperature at constant pressure we are increasing does increase in temperature favor endothermic reaction yes it does so we already have our answer so increasing the temperature at constant at contact pressure will what we favor what the what it will drive what the reaction to be endothermic okay and to favor the endothermic what side of the reaction you say b decrease pressure at constant pressure at constant temperature wrong c they say cool down the apparatus with water then d decreases temperature at constant pressure so the right answer is increase temperature endothermic reactions absorb heat they gain heat so you need to increase temperature for it to be favored you get okay so that is that for 1997 question 28 now there's another question 1995 again question 28 again okay so i giving it's been displayed on your screen so there's nothing to be scared of there they say if an equilibrium reaction has an equilibrium reaction has delta h less than zero the reaction will proceed favorably in the forward reaction at we, we, we proceed favorable at the forward reaction at we proceed favorable in the forward reaction at now let's analyze this if delta h is is less this is a, this means less okay this is less than this is what greater than right your right is greater than your left is less than okay so yes yeah, you can see here is what it is it is less than because it's on your left so if delta h is less than zero numbers that are less than zero are in the negative side okay so if you have your number line all right if you draw this is zero this is minus one this is minus two this is one this is two this is three okay so anything that's less than zero is in the negative side all right that means what well, delta h is what delta h is negative and if delta h is negative it is means that what well, that the forward reaction is what is exothermic isn't it it means that the forward reaction is exothermic now what that what are they asking now they say the reaction will proceed favorably in the forward reaction right and since exothermic reactions are favored by what decrease in temperature or low temperature okay the exothermic reaction will be favored by what by decrease in temperature or low temperature so they say a at low temperatures b at high temperature it cannot be at high temperature because the reaction is exothermic okay high temperature do not what do not do not work with what exothermic reaction okay so what favors exothermic reaction is low temperatures they say c all temperatures very wrong d all pressures very wrong so the correct answer there will be what low temperature there are thousands of many other questions on what on the app wonderful features on the app they say utme challenge that will conduct for all students that are writing jam for a particular year so please download the app immediately participate in that challenge activate your app so that you can participate in that what utme challenge is on the app once you download it you will see it complete with thousands of other students that are writing jam win amazing prizes weekly get used to how jam set their questions and of course you'll see yourself smiling at the top my name remains master t your best chemistry teacher and i'll see you in the next episode thanks for watching